We know finding quality pet products can be challenging. That's why we drew on our extensive knowledge of the pet industry to produce videos intended to direct pet owners towards the brands and products most deserving of their attention. Our videos contain countless hours of research and review analyzing, so you can be certain if you pick from the list, you can choose one of the best models of this year. Let's get started. As pet owners, you want to give your pets the best quality of life that you possibly can. And in most cases, this includes providing a safe area for your pets to enjoy the outdoors. At PetSafe, we have the unique privilege of developing a variety of pet containment options that give you the freedom and safety that you want for you and your pet. Our wireless fence system is a great example of this. It provides a circular containment area for your pet that's up to 180 feet in diameter. It's very easy to install and you can do it yourself in your own home. This video is designed to walk you through how to set this system up. Let's get familiar with the system. This is your wireless fence transmitter. It sends out an electromagnetic field creating the containment area for your pet. It plugs into a standard wall outlet. Your transmitter communicates with this receiver collar, which your pet wears. The collar is appropriate for pets weighing at least 8 pounds. The transmitter knows that the receiver collar is within the containment area for your pet. If your pet attempts to go outside the containment area, your pet will receive a mild static correction. This is a term that we use that refers to an electric current. It's equivalent to running your feet across carpet and then touching a doorknob. It's not harmful to your pet, but it does get their attention and reinforces what their safe area or their boundary area is. We've also included this multi-purpose tool that we refer to as a test light tool. It has a function to let you know that your receiver collar is working. It also has a flat edge that serves as a wrench to tighten or loosen the battery within your receiver collar. It also serves as a wrench to tighten the contact points on your receiver collar to ensure it's working properly. We've also included extra long contact points. 
if you have a pet that has exceptionally long hair. You'll want to be sure that these contact points are close to your pet's neck, and these will do a better job of getting through all that hair. Now, your system also includes pin flags that are designed to help you reinforce the boundary area when you're going through the training with your pet. Next, you'll want to choose the containment area that you want to create for your pet in your yard. Now, remember, the wireless fence transmitter creates a circular containment area with the transmitter at the center of that circle. So think about the area that you want your pet to have his freedom and choose a location within your home that's appropriate for this. In choosing a location for your transmitter, you want to choose an area that's dry, well ventilated, and where temperatures do not drop below freezing. You will also want to install your transmitter on the ground level of your home, and it should be in an area that is at least three feet away from any large metal objects, and also two to four feet off the ground. You can place a transmitter on a table that is not metal or mount it on the wall. There are mounting instructions provided in your manual. However, we don't recommend that you mount the transmitter until you've confirmed that the containment area you want to create for your pet is just as you would like it. To do that, plug your transmitter in, set the boundary switch to high, and the boundary control to 8. Now take your receiver collar and your test light tool and ensure your battery is in place. The light on your receiver collar should illuminate. Now let's go test our containment area. Walk with your receiver collar away from your transmitter and listen for a tone. This will alert you as to where the end of your containment area is and the boundary for your pet. Walk the entire area to ensure the boundary area is where you'd like it to be. If it isn't, you can adjust using the boundary switch on your transmitter or moving the transmitter within your home. Once you've gotten the area exactly as you'd like it, you're welcome to mount your transmitter and start training your dog. If you have any issues with your wireless containment system, you can contact our customer care center. They're standing by to help you. We hope you enjoy your wireless system, and moreover, thank you for choosing PetSafe. Clay Thompson, Category Manager for Sport Dog Brand, here today to speak with you about our containment system. The SDF-100A is designed to keep your dog in yards up to 100 acres. The system includes a waterproof collar receiver that runs on a 9-volt battery, lasting 6 to 12 months at a time. A thousand feet of wire and 100 boundary flags are included with the system. The boundary wire is buried or attached to a fixed object to enclose the dog's boundary area. You temporarily define the boundary area using boundary flags for a visual aid in training your dog. Your dog wears the collar receiver with contact points that touch his neck and once trained is allowed to roam freely in the boundary area. When your dog reaches the warning zone, the collar receiver gives a warning beep. If your dog continues into the stimulation zone, a safe stimulation will be delivered through the contact points to get his attention until he returns to the boundary area. You can add any number of dogs to the system by purchasing additional SDF-R added dog collars.